Are you still catching your breath over the madness of the 2022 NFL offseason? Well, you're not the only one, but we'll give you uh, a couple of seconds to get ready because the initial 2023 NFL offseason predictions are already here. Let's see where we think the top 24 players will land in 2023. Starting with number 24, Nicole Hardman. Prediction, signs with San Francisco 49ers. As you'll see later, we believe that Debo Samuel is going to be getting a sign and trade. That means the 49ers have to replace him and who is better than McCole Hardman. With the Chiefs going in a different direction at receiver, it could mean that Hardman is available in 2023 free agency. He hasn't shown such capabilities and maybe a relocation to San Francisco could kickstart things for him in the right direction. Next up is number 23, Quentin Nelson. Prediction, re-signs with Indianapolis Colts. This isn't crazy, by the way. He's been one of the best interior offensive linemen in the NFL since 2018, and the Colts won't be letting him go easily. Nelson's a cornerstone for the side and we think he'll re-sign for sure. Now we have number 22, Mike Gesicki. Prediction, signs with New York Giants. The Giants could be interested in Gesicki, especially if Dawson Knox doesn't hit the free agency in 2023. The Dolphins have a lot of options, so we don't think they'll be too keen on keeping him around, especially if they were to bring in Rob Gronkowski and Tom Brady. What? Well, you'll see. Next on the list is number 21, Raquan Smith. Prediction, re-signs with Chicago Bears. We just think the Bears would be foolish to let Raquan Smith walk. He's a proper tackling machine and a weapon for you on all three downs. They should be bringing him back on a long-term deal and letting him go could be a huge mistake. And we don't think they're that stupid. Now we have number 20, Jack Conklin. Prediction, signs with Chicago Bears. It was a huge surprise to see the Bears not doing much on the offensive line in 2022. Maybe they were keeping an eye out for the class of 2023 and a player like Jack Conklin could be a massive coup for the Bears. But of course, the Browns wouldn't want to let him go either. Then again, they've spent so much in in 2022, who knows what they'll do in 2023. Continuing on to number 19 is Marcus Davenport. Prediction, signs with Atlanta Falcons. Davenport had a big 2021 season and has a new contract on the horizon in 2023. If he plays well, again, he could be a tag and trade candidate. It just seems more likely that Falcons general manager Terry Fontenot, who came from the Saints organization, could bring Davenport to Atlanta too. Next up is number 18, Deontay Johnson. Prediction, tag and trade to Kansas City Chiefs. With the quarterback changes in Pittsburgh, what does the future hold for Johnson? He's going to be heavily targeted, but we're not sure if they'll let him walk in free agency. If he does, the move to Kansas City Chiefs makes a lot of sense. For number 17, we have Hunter Renfro. Prediction, re-signs with Las Vegas Raiders. Renfro has become one of the best slot receivers in the entire NFL. He's a true weapon offensively, there's no doubt about this. The Raiders will be looking to find a way to prioritize their stud slot receiver in the 2023 offseason and Renfro just seems to be the best option available. No brainer. Number 16, Josh Jacobs, RB. Prediction, signs with Houston Texans. Another team that will be rebuilding next offseason will be the Texans. Plus, if Davis Mills can do well enough with his full-time starter audition this year, we see someone like Josh Jacobs moving to the Texans and it'd be a decent move. Moving on to number 15 with Darren Payne, prediction, signs with Seattle Seahawks. We think Payne could be off to the Seahawks because they have to spend their cap space somewhere. He's one of the top defensive linemen that will be available in the next offseason, and he could become a centerpiece for Seattle. Next, we have number 14, Jesse Bates III. Prediction, signs with Philadelphia Eagles. A long-term deal remains unlikely between Bates and the Bengals. He's not had the impact they wanted from him, and it seems that the Eagles are a likely destination considering how much they're spending on their secondary. 13 is Bradley Chubb. Prediction, re-signs with the Denver Broncos. Despite being outstanding in his rookie season, Chubb has been quite underwhelming in the last three. The ACL injury can ruin lives, but the Broncos have a lot of faith in Chubb coming good, so we think he'll end up re-signing. For number 12, we have Derwin James. Prediction, franchise tagged by Chargers. James is one of those what-could-have-been players because of his injuries. When fit, he's simply one of the best players in the NFL. But regardless of whether he remains fit or not, we don't see the Chargers letting him go. Next up is number 11, Orlando Brown Jr. Prediction, re-signs with Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs. The Chiefs made a huge investment on Brown because they see him as a long-term left tackle, so we think this will get done. It's likely that he becomes one of the highest paid offensive linemen in NFL history too. And now for number 10, Elton Jenkins. Prediction, signs with Denver Broncos. Jenkins has been super for the Packers, but we feel they just can't afford to bring him back on a long-term deal. Plus, with his torn ACL injury, he might not be on top of their list. He's still versatile enough and could become a superb addition for Denver, playing next to left tackle 
Garrett Bowles. Continuing on, we have number 9, Minka Fitzpatrick. Prediction re-signs with Pittsburgh Steelers. Fitzpatrick has been one of the mainstays for the Steelers' defense in recent years. He's been an absolute machine, and given how unlikely the signing was in the first place, the Steelers must be delighted with how well it's worked out. We just don't think they'll let him get to the open market. At 8, it's Sakon Barkley. Prediction signs with Miami Dolphins. The Dolphins are going to be the team to support in 2023. Saquon is world class and we feel he'll be joined by a bigger name at the Dolphins. Hmm, who could it be? We feel Barkley could do with a change in scenery. There's a decent chance he hits free agency and the Dolphins definitely have him high on the list. Now for number 7, Terry McLaurin. Prediction, long-term deal with Washington Commanders. McLaurin remains one of our favorite players and the Commanders will do well to conclude this deal. With Carson Wentz joining the side, we think McLaurin's true value will become apparent this year. And the Commanders, unless their hierarchy is obsessed with fantasy football, will sign him to a long-term deal. For number 6, we have Jimmy Garoppolo. Prediction, signs with Chicago Bears. Okay, this is a pretty bold prediction, but hear us out. We think that Justin Fields might not work out at the Bears, and they'll be in the market for another QB. It's a long shot, but we think it remains a real possibility. Garoppolo gets some undeserved flack, but when he's healthy, there aren't more efficient quarterbacks than him in the league. Could be an underrated move. At number 5, it's Baker Mayfield. Prediction, signs with Seattle Seahawks. While things haven't worked out for Mayfield at the Browns, you'll be foolish to think he isn't a top, top quarterback. The Seattle Seahawks are a decent side, and unless they have a terrible season, we can see them being the ideal destination for someone like Baker Mayfield. Up next at number 4 is DK Metcalf. Prediction, tag and trade to Green Day Packers. The Seahawks have already gotten so much out of Metcalf that they wouldn't mind trading him while his value is still sky high. He's one of the top playmakers in the division, and the Packers would make for the ideal move. They can afford him, and he could be the ideal solution for maximizing Aaron Rodgers' final few years. Now for number 3, Tom Brady. Prediction, signs with Miami Dolphins. Yep, this is it boys. We genuinely think Brady to Miami could happen given the fact that he could potentially have a stake in the Dolphins, and would make a lot of income without any income taxes. Plus, the Dolphins are on the rise. They've got great defense and have lovely playmakers on their offense. In comparison, things don't look ideal for the Bucks, and this move remains a real possibility for Brady. Next, we have number 2, Debo Samuel. Prediction, tag and trade to Houston, Texas. This is going to be one of the fascinating sagas to watch out for. The 49ers don't want to trade him, of course, but you can say that about pretty much any team that traded away a big-name wide receiver in the 2022 offseason. As for the Texans, they'd be more than willing to pay the type of money Samuel wants, and he'll be the centerpiece of their rebuild. And finally, we have Lamar Jackson. Prediction, stays in Baltimore. Baltimore. Okay, this might be a little straightforward and obvious, but we think he gets a long-term deal from the Ravens. Unless, of course, something catastrophic were to happen. We don't think Baltimore lets Jackson walk in free agency. Yeah, crazier things have happened, but this one just seems bizarre. He's in his peak years and he already won an MVP award. There's very little chance that he hits free agency. That's a wrap for this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.